Let's program intro 8 from your packet. In this particular print, we see two rows of six holes each, and those holes are equally spaced in the x-axis and the y, the rows are equally spaced in the y-axis. We're going to use that equal spacing distance to um, show something called polar programming in the holes block. We're going to use the, the math functions of the control, the power of the control to do math functions, to create the, where those holes are going to be located. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the program manager and create a new program that we can use for this particular part. The next thing we want to do is go back to the input screen, part setup, more, and stock geometry, and we'll set up some stock for this part as well. We're going to manually size the stock. We see that the x-axis is 8.25, it's 4 inches in the y, and this part is a quarter of an inch thick. We also notice that the most logical point to program from on this print is the upper left corner of the part. And we know from using graphics or uh, stock geometry in the past on other prints that the control will assume the bottom left corner is always zero. So I need to move my solid model by the width of the part in Y or four inches. I'm going to do that by going negative four inches in my reference position. Now we'll go back to the uh, input screen, go to Tool Review and Tool Setup, and we'll begin to describe some tools for this part. We have two tools, an eighth inch center drill and a three eighths drill. So we'll set up the center drill first. I'm going to go ahead and go to the advanced tool settings to make sure I get all of the settings that I need for this drill. going to continue with a coolant condition and some speeds and feeds for this tool as well. Now we'll set up the second tool or the 3 8 drill. Again I'll finish filling out the information for the drill, speeds and feeds, and coolant condition. So now we have our two tools described. Let's go back to the input screen and now we're ready to begin programming. So we're going to go to Part Programming, we're going to select Holes, and we're going to begin with a drilling center drill operation. We'll start a hundred thousandths above, maybe go down an eighth of an inch. We're going to use tool number one. We'll now select our next hole operation, which will take us to our drill. We're going to start at point one, we're going to go down, um, let's go only 325 to make sure the tip of the tool will clear. We're using tool number two. I don't need to peck this particular part. It's only a quarter of an inch thick. I'm just going to go ahead and drill it straight through. So we've told it what we want to do. We're going to center drill it, we're going to drill it, and now we need to put some locations. So we're going to go to the, whole, the next hole operation. We're going to insert a location and we're going, to in, we're going to locate the very first hole. Upper left corner of that series of holes. We're going to do a 1 inch X and a minus 0.75 in Y. Now you notice as soon as I hit the enter button after my final position there, it automatically populates the field with the last known X position. What that's allowing me to do now is to enter in the next hole location as a math function. I know that the holes are an inch and a quarter apart, moving in the positive direction from left to right along the x-axis. So I'm going to put the value or the distance 1.25. I know I'm going in the positive direction and I hit enter. That located the next hole an inch and a quarter away from the original hole and I didn't have to do any math. The minus 750 for the second hole, that's not going to change. So I simply hit enter and accept that. You see I have a copy of the last known position. I'm going to put the 1.25 plus enter. Y doesn't change. And I'm going to continue that until I reach this last hole in that particular row. Now the seventh hole is going to be the bottom 
right hand most hole in the, the features. And the x-axis doesn't change. I'm just now moving the y. So I do the same thing. I was at a negative 750. I need to go another two and a half inches in the negative direction. And now I can begin to work my way back from right to left by subtracting the inch and a quarter. 1.25 minus enter. 1.25 minus enter. 1.25 minus enter. 1.25 minus inner. And that should be the last hole in our series. Let's go ahead and hit the draw button. And in fact, we do have all 12 holes in the right location.